if you're going to the UCLA football game on Saturday, stay in your seat at halftime. The Bruins are facing North Carolina Central in HBCU. If you haven't seen the Eagles marching band, mm, they're good, so good. UCLA is paying for them to travel cross country to perform at halftime. What's the reason why you feel like it's important to bring the HBCU band here? Because this, this isn't the first time you, you did this. I mean, you did it last year with Alabama State. We live in a world where, um, you know, we're, we're, we're educating young people. We're trying to give people different experiences and opportunities. And, you know, I grew up in a, in a household that had HBCU. Both my parents went to HBCU and um, North Carolina Central, my mom, and, and uh, North Carolina Auntie, my dad. And, you know, to be able to, to see the sound machine, to be able to experience that. I mean, last year, Alabama State performed, and they got a standing ovation from our fans. That was the first time I've ever seen our fans give another band a standing ovation. Are you Greek by any chance? Yes, K. Sox. Interview over. <laughs> interview over. <laughs> so, but you, you, you must uh, be an Omega man. You must be I, an Omega man. I'm an, I am an Omega man. What kind of impact is that going to make on you know just the campus life at UCLA? Again, you know this is our Black Excellence game. So we have so many components where we're recognizing um, Black excellence. What do you think your mother will say to you? if she was able to come this weekend and be at the game and then look at her son and knowing what she did for HBCUs, but also the school that she went to? Um, you know, my mom would have a big smile. She would be laughing about this. And she would say, before we kick, now you know I gotta go for my Eagles today, you know, but um, she would just have the biggest smile. My mom's uh, smile and energy were infectious and uh, she would just be so happy. Mm. Now, we all can learn something here from UCLA. The Rose Bowl is about to have thousands of fans that may have never seen a historically black college and university band perform. The good thing is this experience will create understanding. It doesn't matter if you're black, white, green, or blue. The more we understand each other, the more all our differences will be embraced.